Shalom. I don't know uh, if the sound is good here, but I'm just going to try to talk louder because I don't have my normal uh, setup. I just wanted to do this video because it's been on my mind, but I haven't been able to really reflect and sit down and write this to memory. But basically what I want this video to be about is uh, what Yah has opened my eyes to. And that's uh, the fellowship, the fellowship between believers. I used to think that Salvation being an individual thing because scripture says and I have to double check this in my Septuagint and my Westcott and Hort but it says that we must work out our own salvation with fear and trembling now when you focus a lot on that scripture it makes you sound like it puts our priority on self-preservation and it's not wrong to uh, repent of your iniquities to overcome your your sins and to do righteously that's not wrong we all have a duty as Solomon as Shlomo said uh, the whole duty of man the whole of man is to fear Elohim and, and keep his Torah that's our duty as individuals and Yehoshua also told us that the two greatest commandments if we really want to keep the spiritual Torah, it's to love Elohim with all of our mind, all our strength, all our soul. And the second is to love our neighbor as ourselves. So how can we love our neighbor as ourselves if we just focus on ourselves and just keeping ourselves alive? So that's something that really has been ruminating in my mind for the last, I'd say at least few months now but it really crystallized just as this past Shabbat when especially the past month actually when I started doing these live streams and, and more spiritual videos of a spiritual nature based on you know uh, spiritual wisdom not just you know foolishness and it's this is that there's an analogy that uh, the Apostle Paul uses saying that can the eye say to the ear you know I don't need you and that's such a strong analogy it's such a important word picture because for example I could say I'm a, a big toe <laughs> and someone else could say they they are an eye let's just go with let's stick with the eye the nose the mouth the ear you know, the feet, the hands, we're all different parts of the body. And what really made me realize that we need each other, this is the big point I want to come, that I really want to uh, put across, that I want to, to preach, if I could use that word. I really want to preach that we really need each other as believers in the body of Yeshua. Of Yeshua, we... We face problems, yes, it's true. We have individual problems, but collectively we have problems too. So if we see a problem, especially one that relates to the, you know, the tribulations, like persecution of the of the believers, we can't just deal on it, uh, deal with it on our own. For example, let, let me use a really good example. The analogy of us being a body, so a picture of a human body, you know, I'm, I'm right here, I'm a body right now. But there's a problem coming away my way, so, um, you know, let's say I'm, you know, I'm driving and I see a truck. My eyes see this truck, right? Or say I don't see a truck, I don't see an ambulance, but my ears hear it. But how can my ears help my eyes if it doesn't relay that message? If they're not in connection, if they're not closely close in fellowship and, and they're united as one for a common goal. The common goal is to protect my body. So my ears have to tell my eyes, okay, you know what? I heard I 
hear sirens. Okay, eyes look for the where the sirens are coming from. My eyes look. Okay, it's coming from there. And then my eyes tell my my hands. Okay, hands, you gotta steer the wheel, or you know, feet push the brakes. We're all different parts of the body. We need each other to deal with the problems that we face collectively, and also to not just problems, but also. Helping each other as community, we need to do that. It's so vital, and I think that's that's something that Yah has put in my heart that we need each other. It's not about being individuals only as individuals protecting ourselves and you know self-preservation. It's about families. It's about the spiritual greater spiritual family that we really do need to pray for each other and not just pray for each other, but also support each other with our actions, with our words, with our with everything we can we can do. You know, Yahushua said, Greater love has no man than this, for a man to lay down his life for his friends. You can't lay down your life if you just pray. Praying is good, but in and of itself, it's really not that effective. But if I pray for you, and I go visit you, and, you know, encourage you with my words, or if there's something you need, and I help you, you know, using my body to lift it, or whatever it is, then, you know, that's that's making a real difference. It's not just saying, you know, be you know, be blessed and be, be filled or be comforted. It's saying, you know, I, I pray Yah will help you, but let me, let Yah move me to work and help you. Because it's one thing to say, you know, I hope the temple's built, but it's another thing to say, okay, here's some gold. Here's some gold. I'm contributing to the cause of the temple. You know, use my gold to to create the, uh, to furnish the, the temple instruments. So that's just what I wanted to come uh, to say today. We need each other. I hope the sound is good. And I pray uh, made the sound, you know, suitable. Uh, another thing that I really struck me today, just a few minutes ago, is that, you know, yeah, it does bother me sometimes when I look at the views of my videos. I'm not going to lie because, yeah, the coronavirus videos get, you know, dozens of views sometimes even hundreds of views whereas when it comes to something spiritual and actually more important they only get less than 10 views but you know what that's not the point the point is in number of views the point the point is is it reaching those who who the father has called and when i receive a comment from somebody who who I perceive the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh is moving and they are, you know, trying to do their best to be, uh, to do what Yah wants us to do, to love Him with everything and to love our neighbors ourselves. When I perceive that and that I'm encouraging individuals, it's worth it. It's worth it. All the minutes, all the hours I've spent all the effort, all the breath that is in me, all the thought process that Yah gives me, it's worth it just to make a difference in the life of not just one unbeliever, but even more so a believer, a fellow believer. It's so great because I know that this life is such a struggle and it's hard. This way is hard. You know, this is the way. Yehoshua said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. And you can also interpret that possibly to mean, I am, you know, I am that I am. yod heh vav -He is the way. yod heh vav -He is the truth. yod heh vav -He is the life. Because without him, we would have no life. And he's also, I'm going to add, yod heh vav -He is the love. He is love. And that's from Corinthians, you know, the love chapter. So anyway, I just wanted to express that. And thank you to... My viewers and those who will watch in the future, and may Yah strengthen you. You know, the end is a happy ending. We just have to do our part and remain faithful to Him. Never give up. It, it says there, you know, be strong and be of good courage in the book of Yahushua, the first chapter. What that means in Hebrew is never give up. Never, never give up. Ever. That's really essentially what it means in Hebrew. Uh, thank you again. Yah bless you and protect you all. May you be watchful. May we never lose heart.
May we strengthen each other, most importantly, and support each other, not just with the prayer, but maybe even with fasting, with our words, with our actions. And don't be afraid to hug a brother, a sister. You know, in the Middle Eastern culture, in the biblical times, it was normal for men to even kiss each other on the cheek. As you saw, Judas did that. Yehuda did that when he betrayed Yehoshua. But that was common practice that you do that. You kiss your brother. You hug your brother. I'm not saying, you know, we should, brothers should kiss, you know, fellow sisters in the faith. I'm not saying that because, you know, that could be a little bit, you know a little bit risky there especially in our day and age but anyway how uh have to say thank you for watching and y'all bless you all in the name of yoshua hamashiach amen